It is 4.24. It's time for work. Welcome to my nine to five job. So I've been here for almost two years. I just do not resonate with nine to five jobs in general. You know, that's literally times where I go to the bathroom and just have a mental breakdown and just freak out because, you know, I just feel like I'm stuck in place. I'm not really progressing. You know, honestly being here makes me feel like I'm confined within these walls. I'm not able to actually leave because I'm clocked in, you know? Nine to five is like a prison in a sense, you know? If you're clocked in, you kind of just don't have the ability or free will to just do what you want. I'm high key getting tired of cleaning toilets and taking out trash. It's just not my thing, I'm not gonna lie. I really feel like I'm made for more than this. I don't believe this is where my journey has to end. You know, I feel like I have so much to say, so much to accomplish for myself. You know, nine to five work is, it is part of the job. Let me go. I'm gonna catch you guys later tonight back at home. I only hurry before I get fired because if they find out I'm making YouTube videos on the clock, they will literally destroy me. Here we are on this beautiful Miami morning. Yeah. You hear that guys? That is the sound of industrialism. Some of you probably aren't gonna enjoy the constant sounds of Miami. For me, that actually motivates the fuck out of me. I really enjoy the sounds of the city. Hearing people hustle through the day turns on some weird part of my brain. Living in the big city scratches just the right itch. I just, I don't know. I just love living here. For me, like I said, it's... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> For me, it is meditate. All right, all right, he's doing that on purpose now. Literally, he has to be, there's no other way. Like literally, I'm gonna get through a whole sentence now, but watch, if I try to do my sentence. For me, it's pretty meditative to sit out here. See, he's putting, put, you know what? That's not even fair. Sit back, relax, and just enjoy the sounds of mine. Not only do I like to meditate, but I also like to get work done out here also. So I'm about to edit for a little bit, catch you guys in a little bit. So I'm about to edit. Mother fuck you, shut the fuck up, bro. That's enough, that is enough. I'm about to get some editing done, catch you guys in a quick brief. I'm just, I'm, I'm totally over it. I need to relax, I gotta catch you guys in a second. I really shouldn't be getting myself stressed, but you know, let me just get some work done. I'll just see you guys in a bit. Ah, that was very nice. I actually really enjoyed that. It is 8.15. I do a lot of things that most people don't enjoy doing to get up and meditate and, and journal and write your life. For me, that's just one of the main things I can't give up. Mental clarity, you know, a lot of people just don't have that. And most of it comes from people not putting in any work. I feel like therapy isn't really the most helpful because it's just like a circle of you just tell them about your problems and they kind of validate your experiences. If you want to get over something, you have to really look at yourself in the mirror and really be honest with yourself. Are you doing the things that you say you want to do? Are you really being the best version of yourself? Are you doing those things? You know, if the answer is no, then you probably understand why you're not as happy as you should be. What is it? What? Is it Grand Theft Auto 6 out? Like what's going on? Yo. Yo, what is going on? 
Let me go back inside, bro. I don't. I, mean, I shouldn't be out here right now. It's literally a crime scene or some shit happening. Miami. Yeah. These are the things people don't see me having to deal with. You know, they just see the videos. Oh, Ty, the video's so good. I'm dealing with all type of pro. Bro, you just you just don't understand. Okay, we're good. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even remember what I was saying. Actually, no, I do. I got it. I got it. So mental clarity. You know, a lot of people just don't put in the work that they should to like actually find your peace and actually being honest with yourself. I spent the last two years really dealing with you know my personal issues, my mental health, and. You know, am I depressed? Am I not depressed? I have taken a lot of steps to help me along the way. I have come a long way and I should be grateful, you know. At one point, I didn't have this apartment. You know, at one point, I didn't have you guys here watching this channel. At one point, you know, I was dreaming of being here. But even though, you know, I've made it a long way, I do have to keep grinding. I do have to keep pushing. And with that comes mental stresses. One of the biggest things I got into recently was jogging. So we're not gonna jog today because I just don't have the time, I have a video I have to upload, and blah, 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 blah. You don't give a fuck about excuses. You know, at first, it's not the most pleasant experience. You know, you have a lot of aches and pains. You're not really comfortable. You have to be up early, probably. You know, you just it's not a good experience. After running for a good 10 or 15 minutes, I don't know, you get this euphoric feeling. I don't know, it just starts to feel good. So I have been running recently. I actually made a video on me waking up at 6 a.m. to go on a jog through Miami. You should go watch that. My body is very sore. I'm tired, so I do want to stretch. I want to, you know, lay out the mat and really just get those tensions and stuff out of my body. If you're gonna come in, you gotta take the shoes off. I'm not. Bro, what is going on? What is, what is going on? Is it like National Crime Day? Like what? What is, the... Siri, what? Hey Siri, what is today? Oh, it's 2024, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot. Here we are. You are stepping in, make sure to take your shoes off. Over here, guys, we have our manners. We're not just walking in with the shoes on, all on the couch, fuck your couch. We're not doing that. So here we are, we're on the mat. It's not really a mat, this is my weighted blanket that I bought from Target a couple, like, like a couple months ago. So I just wanna get some stretches done. Somebody must have died. Like, I'm not even being, okay. If someone died, that's actually kinda fucked up. But literally, what is going on today? Every three, three to five minutes, there's a quarry of people, quarry of officers flying through the city. Like you can, do you hear that? It's nonstop. It's been doing that for like the past 20 minutes, I promise. So we're about to stretch and you know, just get out all the, the pains and tensions out of my tendons. I don't even know. What, that's what I get for trying to sound smart. Then after there, we're gonna take a nice long shower and then I want to get into some of the problems of being in Miami and not being a literal multi-millionaire. You know, they really make Miami seem like the place to be, the most beautiful city ever, which it is, you know, low-key, it is. It's a beautiful city, I'll give you that. But they left out one important part. You're broke as hell, you know? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. We're broke as hell, you know? All right, guys, so just got done stretching. You know, really did loosen me up. I feel really good. I want to take a nice, long, hot shower. I'm just not in the mood right now, so let me... Bro, that light. <laughs> Yo, that's what I mean. One thing, let me show you. That isn't supposed to happen. That is not, that's not right. I'll catch you guys in a second. Let me take a nice, long shower, and then we're gonna get into all the, the messiness and stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys in a little bit. Let me see you. Don't click off, but goodbye. For now, bye. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah. Bye. You know, if you're watching this, you're probably thinking, that, who is this weird ass guy in the camera? What, what, what am I watching? You're watching it. This is you. This isn't me. You're watching this. So you think I'm a weird guy. What about you? That's all I gotta say. All right, guys, I'm out of the shower, and here I am at the desk. 
because I do want to talk to you guys about living here. You know, the reality of being broke here in Miami because a lot of people glamorize the lifestyle, you know, the scenery, the lights, whatever. But you never really get that just normal living in an apartment, just chilling, not being a millionaire, you know, just a normal person. You don't really get that side of Miami. Now you go ahead and put the glasses on so I can kind of, I guess, kind of feel smart. Well, first, let me actually, well, actually, I don't know, what do you even call this thing? Now I got the beautiful view in front of me. I can now have a good, clear mind and speak. I don't know whose idea it was to make everything so fucking expensive here in Miami. Food, cost of living, transportation, pretty much everything around just trying to live a decent life. It's so expensive. On the offset, most jobs aren't paying that much. The city is really just built off the labor of the people. I have my PC right here. I'm actually gonna look up what is the minimum wage here in Miami. And I bet it's actually something absurd. I bet it's like, ten dollars or something because i don't actually know it now i gotta say this new setup is fucking amazing i mean just look at the look at the views we're getting you guys are getting a good nice shot of the monitor i have the nice view behind me you know this is very this is really nice i can get used to this i can get really used to this can i type wage not company minimum wage in miami apparently it is 11 per hour that's 22 that's in 2022 and then 2019 was $8, bro. $8? $8. I could not even imagine living off of eight, bro. In Miami, what are you, you gotta be, bro. Somebody has to be playing a joke. There's actually no way they were charging people, they're not charging, giving people $8 an hour to live. Not even a whole 10, not even double digits. That's ridiculous, that's ridiculous. The wages here are just not adequate to the living expenses. So most people you see, most people that live here in Miami have roommates. If you are new to the channel, I do live here with a roommate. So if you look behind me, we are in the main room, but it's also the bedroom because I need a, I need a, I need a, blah, 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 what? <laughs> it would literally be impossible for me to live here on my own because of the wages. Unless I got like a super job and I got into like, I don't even know. I don't even know what kind of job I would get. Like, I guess YouTube. But unless like my YouTube started popping off and I started making good money, there'd be no way in hell where I could just work a normal job, even as like a bank teller or something. Something really nice. Maybe, maybe a bank teller. I don't know. But most people here are not living that luxuriously. Like, if I even like, just behind me. Now, I'm not trying to snoop on people's houses, but like, if you look inside most of the places, you would see that they're living a lot like me. You know, probably have a bed or a lot of stuff, or a roommate living on a couch. It's a lot of that going around. It's a lot of that LA culture type of stuff. And I guess New York too. Most most big, most big, major cities, you're gonna just deal with a lot of roommates. Like most of the time, I don't even have food in the fridge. Like if I show you guys, and this is low key embarrassing, but I mean, I guess. So if I show you guys the fridge, if I open this up, well, it's a lot of pizza boxes inside, but the pizza is like a cheap option you can save over the days. This is the only one that has like some love. But as you guys can see, Nothing else is in this fridge. Maybe a bunch of bottles of water that we steal from work. But also inside of the cabinets, it's not really much, like there's no pantries, there's no place or anything, just because who's gonna go out and cook? You know, I don't have time to cook. You know, I work and I gotta make sure I get my YouTube stuff going on. You know, I don't really have the time to do the extra activities and cook food and buy utensils and stuff. My nine to five, bro, it low key be pushing me to the edge. Like I have to wake up at 4 a.m. sometimes. Not sometimes. Pretty much almost every day I'm waking up at 4 a.m. You under you you understand how it feels to wake up before the sunlight's even up and you're just tired. Nobody else is up. And you don't even like your job. So like why am I doing this? And it's just that mental like fight of do, do I do I continue? Do I fucking continue or do I just end it all and say I'm done? Like hey, fuck it, take the apartment. You can take my camera, take it. I don't care. 4 a.m. is not it. I don't know. I be I be dealing with that. And I know some of you guys understand that pain. That shit sucks. I'm gonna catch you guys later tonight, and we're gonna get into my full night routine and things I do to prepare for the next day. All right, guys, welcome back. So it is pretty late as you see, but the work is not done. I do like to edit my videos late at night because for some reason at night I get creative like way more creative than i usually am of course i do try to edit throughout the day also cramming all the editing at night and pulling all nighters it's just not good for the mental health i really need to get better at editing just throughout the day i have my macbook right here so i am gonna do that and that's gonna really close out my night but before i go i do want to give you guys a little bit of final notes let me go out here first oh man 
beautiful, beautiful here. And my camera is struggling to get the late night. My life here in Miami is not that glamorous. You know, I, I live a pretty normal life just like you guys. I know some people like to glamorize YouTubers or people that's on the internet. I am nothing special, you know. I make videos on the internet for people to watch, talk about me, you know, nothing crazy. But here we are, you know. I am so excited for the future. Recently, I've been very creative. I've really been enjoying making YouTube videos more than I usually have. I don't know why. It's just, I just feel very happy about the channel right now. You know, it is crazy to think that, you know, I made all of this possible myself. Isn't it calming just to look out into the city and just take it all in? I don't know. Is that just a me thing? I really just enjoy the city noises. I just feel very good inside. Recently, I've had this this over this overwhelming urge of just excitement for the YouTube channel and I don't know why. I've been so creative lately and I got so many things planned for the channel. I can't wait for you guys to see. I got so much recorded, so many cool things about Miami and just my experiences and I just, oof, it's so much. I'm really loving life right now. You know, yes, the channel hasn't blown up. I'm not, you know, the biggest YouTuber, but right now I'm just enjoying the journey. I'm enjoying every day waking up, getting to make videos for, you know, you guys and just seeing the seeing the community grow and i'm just i'm just so excited for where the channel is going hopefully by the end of this year you know i can hit around 10k that would be fucking dope if that happens you guys if you guys sub to the channel make get us to 10k you know i won't ask for a thing from you guys ever again i promise you that but you know i made it here you know in a year two years i guess rough journey you know rough rough journey but you know we made it happen and you know we're living the good life as people would call it Trust and believe, you know, I always try my best to improve the videos and, and to keep growing and try to make the videos more ambitious. I never want to just, I never want to be the YouTuber that gets big and just relaxes and chills. You know, I want to keep pushing no matter what, even if I get a billion views tomorrow, I don't care. I want to keep, you know, grinding and trying to make the best videos possible for you guys. I do love you guys. Thank you for supporting. You guys really do mean the most to me. If I don't say it enough, I'm saying it again, but I am going to go. Um, yeah, I know this is sad, but I got to go. But I will be back. I will be. I promise. I'll be back. I love you guys. Peace.